It's been nice having you around, Cassandra. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this, just you and me. There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in the year. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. Anais never told me she made honey. So this is where Anais keeps her wine. <gasps> Smells strong. I'm getting lightheaded just sniffing it. Anais must have a lifetime supply of olives stashed here. You are. Now, let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? <laughs> the merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision making to you. So proud of the poem to be Sparta. Remember when we used to steal food from the markets of Kefalonia? We could steal from this one, for old time's sake. <gasps> Always the troublemaker. Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. We'll have the dry wine. I like my wine strong, but this will do, I suppose. Smells so delicious, my mouth is watering. Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow cooked goat stew. <gasps> Oh, decisions, decisions. 
The chicken with vegetables sounds nice. This will be tasty, I'm sure. I only wish it came with olives. <laughs> I needed this. Welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. We'll have the strawberries. Oh, this is fine, I suppose. Nothing's as sweet as honey, though. was fun. It's late. We should get back to the house. Don't want Arion to worry. Mater! Mater! You're not going to believe it! What is it, Arion? Bandits attacked the house! But I found one of Pater's old swords and did everything Cassandra taught me! And I scared them away because I'm a warrior like the mighty Eagle Bearer! That's incredible, Arion! You... I hate to say I told you so. Don't lie to me. You love to say I told you so. You always did. The boy defended what's his. You should be proud of him. I am. I am. But? Cassandra, there is something I need to tell you. Anything? Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped you were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. Ah, nice. Please let me finish. The fact you taught Arion to fight when I explicitly asked you not to. Shows me you're not the partner I'm looking for. But he fought off those bandits. He could have been injured or worse. I understand. And it's okay. You felt you knew what was better for my son. And maybe you're right. But I'm looking for someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'm just not the person you thought I was. I should go. It wasn't fair of me to have these expectations. You are wonderful the way you are. And I'm happy we got to spend time together. Parting as friends, then? Of course. We will always be friends. Say goodbye to Arion for me. I will, Eagle Bearer. 